Good morning everyone. Today we're going to be talking about a very interesting character. One of the fish that causes a lot of grief. I know personally myself I've been uh, let's just say about 13 and 0 with these. So it's one of those fish that you often hook but necessarily landing is a, is a different story. We're talking about the Springer. Now Springer goes by a few different names, 10 pounder, ladyfish, but here in South Africa Springer is the most universal name used for them. Um, you do, also sometimes people call mullet springer, but that's a different story. Anyway, springer. Elops magnata. Now, the scientific name sort of stems from a butchering of where, where the name originally comes from. And it basically, in terms, means their fighting or swimming ability. So, it's sort of, it's about their, their, their ability to fight very hard. Now, the springer overall sort of a torpedo shaped. Very similar to, if you want to look at it, basically a mullet crossed with a bone fish in essence. That's kind of where we're looking. You've got torpedo shaped, fairly, fairly large fins. Uh, they've got a very large tail on themselves, which obviously makes them very, very strong. Very uh, slender fish, streamlined at least. So now when they're running off at angles and things like that, they're very, very quick to change, change directions. They've got quite a bony mouth, so they don't have a lot of meat and things around their, their mouth. It's not a fleshy mouth it's very very hard and, and difficult to penetrate which links into why they're very difficult to land often you when you hook them it's just through a little bit of the skin and when he jumps hook just pops out very large eye they extremely good nocturnal and low light condition hunters that big eye obviously allows them to get a lot more light in and they allow to see silhouettes but better they are quite a quite a scaly fish covered in scales and fairly bony they've in the east and things like that they do salt them and dry them out and things like that but yeah, in South Africa, they're really not, not worth the effort of keeping unless you're going to use them as bait. They actually do become, or are quite an important bait for things like sandies and sharks and things like that. So try it, it's they're deadly. Also make a very good swim bait um, when they're a little bit bigger, if they can carry the weight of the hooks and things. Overall, you get a fish that gets up to about a meter in length, about 90 centimeters, which is a hell of a springer. Normally more down on the uh, east coast, in the, the, more in the south, sort of the bigger estuaries and things like that. Eastern Cape um, is going to be where you're going to get those bigger ones. Up here we generally get the smaller fish. In terms of their feeding, as we mentioned, they've got fairly big eye, large mouth, um, quite a bony mouth. They, shrimps are probably, shrimps and squid are probably their predominant uh, food forms, although they are very, very good at hunting little glassies and mullets and things like that. And they'll probably preferentially eat glasses and mullet if they can, but in estuaries we're generally getting a lot more shrimp and squid um, than most people know. Yeah, they've got little raspy teeth, they don't have very sharp teeth, so that's just for grabbing things and holding onto them. And yeah, that bony mouth, obviously they can hit something very hard and sort of knock it out. If you're looking at targeting them, we're talking small lures, uh, something along the lines of, they're quite finicky these fish, something along the lines of the new range of Prorix, by the way, big new range of Prorix has just come in. They're fantastic little ultralight lures, they work very well for bass, estuary. So if you're in that kind of a market, drop in or come to one of your your local tackle stores anything with you know a good supply of quality tackle is going to have have the prorexes up so if not ask them to get them otherwise the strike pro and you'll notice i've got the little baby Akmanoya. that color by the way is the best hands down they're small lures so they've got very small hooks we use them for fishing ultra light the springer is very very finicky so the smaller the lure you can go, or the fly, or whatever you're using, the smaller you can go, the better, the more likely it is to take it. Because they'll often chase something right up to the end and then curl off. Those two guys, must have in your lure box. Otherwise, if you're looking at them, small little circle hooks, or a tiny little hook with a live glassy on it underneath a bung, used to be the, the predominant way everyone used to fish for them. Uh, when I say a bung, a little cork, talking two kilo line something like that small little hook they are immense fun on the light tackle they take a hell of a lot of string i mean on the fly you can get stripped 200 meters if you if you're a decent fish same on the ultra light little tackle so when it comes to that kind of things look back at our videos maybe we'll put a link in here somewhere on the Dawa Fuegos, the little, the little spinning sticks there, and a little ninja, say 2500 or so, rigged with 8 pound braid. Oh, perfect for them. 
back to the Springer. You get them along pretty much the entire coast, east coast, all the way down, pretty much to Cape Town and up uh, all the way into Mozambique side. You do get them in the east and all over the world, things like that. That's where they get so many different names from. But yeah, our South African guys are mostly estuary bound and then shallow reefs and things like that, just on the back line. So you often target them or catch them in the same way you would say like a snook or greenfish with all fillet baits and smaller lures. But yeah, ultralight tackle, estuary fishing, um, screaming runs, they're very, very quick. And yeah, putting them back for the future because they don't, they, they're quite a soft fish if you take them out the water for too long, they rattle themselves around and all sorts. But yeah, the Springer. Cheers, guys.